You know guys, funny thing is that today I realized that I manifested this dress into my life. This is my vision board from 2021. Not everything came true. However, I do think that everything is going to manifest one day. But this is a kind of a dress that I put on my vision board. And I wasn't necessarily trying to manifest this very dress because I don't even know what brand it is because I just found it on Pinterest. But I just wanted to get myself more pretty clothes. The clothes that are going to make me feel good. This is the kind of style that I wanted to have. The dress that I bought that I I'm wearing today, I bought it at the very last day of 2021. And that's how the dress looks like. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today. This reading is going to be a very special video for Valentine's Day. However, it is a timeless one, so it could be for Valentine's 2020 two or valentine's 2023 we're going to check what energy is going to be present for you and basically what's next in love for you okay this intro was like super long so let's go to the card selection and then i'll see you in your reading okay guys so choose one group that you feel the most drawn to choose an image that you feel the most drawn to this is group number one group number two and group number three Feel free to pause the video and take as much time as you need right now. Try to feel out the energy. And whichever group is grabbing your attention the most, that is going to be your reading. You can find all the timestamps in the description box. So look for your group, click on that timestamp, and then I'll see you in your reading. However, if you chose group number one, we're going to start right now. So no need to look for anything. Hi group number one, so if you guys chose this image, this is going to be your reading. Let me guys know if you enjoyed picking from like the images. Obviously there were cards, but uh, it's something different and yeah, just let me know. <laughs> okay, so what is the overall energy for you around the time of Valentine's Day? So what's next in love for group number one? Let me know. Okay, group number one. So I feel like there are a lot of you or a lot of you that chose this group have uh, recently broke up with someone or, or they broke up with you. But yeah, I do think this is a pile for someone that recently had some changes in the relationship because I have cards such as release your ex, separation, and also let go of control issues, which is actually in reverse. So if you haven't been in a relationship for a long time, I don't think this is your pile. Maybe just go back and choose a different group and see the, the other one that you were vibing with uh, the most. Okay, with the let go of control issues, I do think that there was a separation. Um, you and somebody else broken up or you guys are about to break up with someone. I see that you finally decided to let go of uh, of this person of needing to control your life that's also what i'm hearing for you and i'm not saying that this person was controlling your life i mean they could have uh, but also you decided to get the control take the control back take the power back that's how it feels so i see you guys overcoming this let's see what else we will have yeah, I see you guys deciding to walk away from this person because they were unstable and you want more stability in your life. I think um, for a lot of you, uh, with the Nine of Cups in reverse, you guys could have been like really depressed about it, very sad about it. Or it was a situation where you started seeing someone and you guys haven't been uh, together for a long time. However, you were hoping that this person is going to give you stability in your life and um, they didn't. They maybe decided that this is not what they want. That's kind of how it feels like you guys are... Um, you know, crying over the past uh, and the previous relationship, but I'm not sure if you guys have been with this person for that long. Um, some of you probably did, but it feels like it's just like a wish that didn't come true. So I see that um, you guys separated because there was no stability or commitment. I see you still overcoming that. So let's see what we have in general next in love. Uh, I understand that this is... Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I understand this is the present energy, but I feel like in the future, ooh, a lot is coming, a lot is coming. Uh, I'm laughing so much because I pulled Page of Cups and this is um, like someone having a crush on you or you having a crush on somebody. So this is like flirting with someone, kind of dating, deciding, maybe not dating yet, but like having a crush on them, seeing them, you know, being attracted to one another. And the next card that I pulled for you is the Lovers. So obviously there is someone i'm not sure where the camera is so it's gonna focus um anyway definitely there's somebody new that is coming into your life a new romantic partner uh we also pulled the ace of swords reverse which makes me feel like it's possible that it's someone that you already know or Mm, maybe not really that would be ace of wands reverse but with the ace of swords in reverse i feel like you haven't talked with this person yet okay so pardon me for what i just said like 30 seconds ago it's someone that you can know because no i think it's about you guys haven't talked yet because the ace of swords to me is like communication like talking with someone chatting with someone uh, replying to someone etc so when it's in reverse like i feel like you guys don't know each other yet yes 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 <laughs> they have chemistry and make efforts so i do see that very soon you guys are going to meet someone that is going to be putting a lot of effort into the connection between you two they will be uh, giving you more time and um, really you will really see how much energy they are putting into building the trust with you and getting to know you better and i see that there is a great chemistry between you two i see that with the, the lovers but also the chemistry card which are both really pretty and <sighs> this feels good you know what let's learn a little bit about this person since this reading is quite a uh, open-minded one so uh, we're leaving the space open for the spirit to come in and tell us a little bit about what's going on around valentine's time for you okay the spirit is showing me that it's not someone from your environment uh not someone that lives probably uh, in your city or like in your town where you guys or like a person that is not in your school or like not at work doesn't feel like this person is present in your environment right now however i do think and maybe that's why i said that before with the ace of one sorts uh that it might be someone that you guys know because we have also six of cups and that is a card of the past so it makes me feel like you might know this person however you haven't been chatting with this person yet uh, this person hasn't reached out to you yet i do think that around uh valentine's time or like in february it's very very possible this person is going to chat you in February um, but it might be someone that you, you used to go to school with but then I don't know they moved out or something like that like you guys are not in the same environment at the moment however you have somehow known each other um, somehow you have met somewhere with the page of once I'm saying that this person is uh, a lot into sports this person is very active and energetic, um, quite charismatic, but I think they're going to be even more. <laughs> it just feels like a type of a person that could be very charismatic, but they don't kind of like believe in themselves. They question themselves and doubt themselves. That's why like they can be maybe as funny, as funny as they usually are, for example, when they are alone, like with a very close friend. Feels like someone that is lacking confidence. However, they uh, they are extremely funny, charismatic, and fun to be around. Especially when you're spending one-on-one -on -one time with this person. That's when they can truly open up and be themselves. So that's another message that's coming through. That this person might have some troubles opening up. Um, so maybe that's something that you will see at the beginning of this connection that you guys are chatting but like maybe maybe this person doesn't want to like tell you about everything that you would normally talk with people about uh things that bother you or so like uh, that's how it feels but i as i said once you get to know this person better they do open up 
this person is extremely creative uh, group number one I think they might be like um, they might have a lot of either water or fire energy in their chart that's how I feel uh, we have first of all musicians so this person is a creator uh, might be a musician beautiful mind so um, this person has a beautiful mind and their imagination is huge uh, they're very creative creative card and you know what i think we're going to go with the initials and maybe the zodiac signs uh, i wasn't planning to do that today however well i didn't i didn't know what to expect um i guess this reading is about who's coming towards you in love what's your next romantic partner okay i want to pull a couple of initials or even thinks about this person so this card popped out i will enter the picture of it here okay so we have full beard we also have blonde hair so that could be the physical um appearance of this person we also have z or c a and six or nine not sure if this is six or nine we also have celebrate so i feel like you could meet this person uh once again or you guys are going to start to chat after some sort of celebration maybe a birthday party or i don't know some event somewhere where you are celebrating yourself or somebody else thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this if you did leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet it really helps me out to grow this channel so i really appreciate you guys doing that you can also book a personal reading tarot reading with me if you have any kind of question i have a special tier on who's your next romantic partner and your future spouse and soulmate and things like that so if you guys are interested in that the link is in the description box check out this reading to find out if this person is going to be your soulmate so when you guys are going to meet i'll see you guys in my next one bye Celebrate good times. Come on. cleaning up after the last pile group number two group number two group number two two, two. <laughs> hi group number two if you guys chose this image this is your reading tell me if you guessed what song i was singing what song i was remixing <sighs> remix yes okay i <laughs> group number two um well i think this reading is going to be a reading on the topic of a special topic for you group number two who's coming towards you in love because I mean, if you guys are in a relationship, let's see if this is this person. If the person that I'm going to be reading about, uh, the person that's coming into your life, maybe already is in your life. But I do see romantic feelings. We have a literally a uh, romantic feelings card. So there's someone that is feeling spicy towards you. We also have cards that are saying this could be the one and wedding. So very possibly the next person that you guys are going to be with is going to be your future spouse. Very possible. So let's see what we have with tarot cards what's next in love for group number two well ace of pentacles stability <laughs> someone new uh, that is coming to your life that is going to give you this commitment that you're looking for i feel like it's it is going to be um your future spouse or like uh fiance i see great commitment so well this reading is it's supposed to be on the topic of what's next in love especially around the valentine day so i do think for you group number two for sure someone that is coming into your life or someone that is in your life right now is this future spouse and that's like what's next because if you guys are already together if you are with this person if you are in a relationship currently i see wedding so it's like leveling up you know but you if you guys haven't met this person yet then Let's see what else we have. So we have the King of Swords. Ooh. So this person very possibly an air sign or you guys could be an air sign. If you're an air sign, I feel like it's possible that this person is going to be fire sign. Okay, I know that was very random, but I just got this message. So 
Just saying. But with the King of Swords, I'm seeing someone uh, that is definitely looking for stability, someone that is a great communicator, someone that is uh, taking it seriously, you know? <laughs> I feel like this person is really taking seriously um, being with somebody else and just making sure that there will always be like honesty in the relationship. I just saw 44, 44, so. So four is a number of stability and great foundation. So those of you also that are in a relationship currently, I feel like what's next in love for you I think it could be talking about self-love and self-appreciation with the Empress but also some of you might get pregnant because uh, that's mama Empress is the mama so um, I think that's another like you know like once again leveling up in your current relationship connection uh, but those of you that are single, uh, going back to this person that's coming into your life, I do think it's someone from your past. You guys have known each other somehow. I see this person chatting you soon uh, with the Ace of Swords. And also, well, I was asking who is this person and I got the Knight of, uh, Knight of Swords. So once again, an Earth sign. Possibly, possibly someone that ran away from the town where you guys live, from the place where you live and went to like a bigger city or went chasing after some dream or like that's what I'm feeling with the Knight of Swords because you, you see the way that he's like running away. Yeah, it's someone that probably left the place where you guys live uh, some time ago and I think they either are coming back or you guys will just get in touch again because Page of Cups is a card of crash. You know what I love? I think group number one also got quite similar energy. So um, I feel like the only difference there was... The beginning of what I said in group number one now I'm thinking if you guys chose group number one and I told you to choose a different group and you're here it makes perfect sense because the person from group number one was quite similar to the person from group number two but there was like a change at the beginning of what I was saying those of you that haven't seen group number one that's fine just talking to you those of you that came from group number one because I feel like a lot of you uh, had <laughs> okay I love the cards that we just pulled for you guys look have we met before and yes well obviously the answer to it is a yes that's what I was saying I'm trying to make this like focus nicely um yeah you guys have met before but it's this energy of like you guys looking at each other and being like huh I know you from somewhere uh but not really like it's not someone from your close friends or you guys or this could be saying that you guys have met in like previous life or something. <gasps> maybe you've been together. Especially since this is a marriage material. So maybe it's someone that you've been with in your in your past life. I'm really interested in a past lives lately because um, I'm reading this book. I think it's called A Journey of the Souls or Souls Journey, something like that. I read it in Polish, so it has a different title. But something like that. And it's a really good book, by the way. You guys should... Um, read it. <laughs> I do recommend it. But in the book, um, it's explained that people that we're calling here soulmates, they are the souls that we've been together with, or we've been kind of like in the same uh, soul circle uh, for many, 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 many years. And it can be really counted because it depends on how many times you have probably like reincarnated into this world. Now we are getting very esoteric. But the idea is that there is like a group of 20 souls, let's say. Let's just give it an example. And each of that soul might reincarnate with you during the time when you will reincarnate. And maybe it was written that you guys are going to meet in this lifetime and become a couple. So that's why I feel like it might be someone from your past life as well because it feels like you guys know this person and you have this feeling like you have known this person before. It could be just in this lifetime or in general you guys have known each other for a very long time as souls, as soulmates. Please let me know if you want to hear things like that from me during the readings in the comments down below because sometimes I'm getting just off topic and I don't know if I should just, you know, stick to my tarot reading or if it's cool with you guys that I talk about random things, facts like that, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear back from you. So we also have gamer boys. So this person, it's possibly that they are into gaming. Any kind of gaming, PlayStation, Xbox, computer. What do you guys prefer? I don't mind, even though I'm playing most of my games on computer. Okay, so we have a Sagittarius. 
So that's a fire sign, just like I was saying at the beginning of the reading, possibly. I also pulled Aquarius for you guys. So I want to pull some initials and words and see what else we can learn about this person. So this is the picture of what I got. You see guys how funny it is that it, it says from sky and about what I was saying, like soul meeting up. I don't want to call it in heaven, but like kind of above, you know? I do think that our souls are going somewhere, you know? it's. I don't think it's on earth. I don't think we stay on earth. And wherever it is, it does to us seem like somewhere, it's somewhere in the sky, right? Like somewhere in the universe and from sky, it's like if you guys have known each other, from the sky equals you guys are soulmates. <laughs> I'm way too excited about this, oh my god. I actually have um, a reading on your soulmate and I will link it up here at the end of the reading, so quite soon. You can guys click on it and then learn about this person if you want to. We also have Y, A, S, I, Q. Initials or maybe some important words like first letters of some important words that are connected with this person. We have rounded eyebrows and blonde hair, something uh, about their physical appearance. So that's all that I have for you group number two. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, just leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. A lot of you watch and don't subscribe and you know, it's a free way of supporting my channel. It really helps me out. So if you guys could do that, if you're watching me anyway, so just subscribe. You can also book a personal reading with me if you would like that. The link is in the description box and check out this reading on the topic of your soulmate. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. 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 Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff. There's only one answer. Just kidding. Uh, but wondering if you guys are Harry Potter fans and if so, which house do you belong to? Okay, group number three, hello. So if you guys are single, if you are in a relationship, let's see. Um, I do think this is uh, a reading for singles mostly, I gotta say. Just a little disclaimer because I'm getting a message that you guys are manifesting this person. You are manifesting this next romantic partner that you want because I'm, I'm seeing the card uh, that says calling in your soulmate. And it says, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So something that you guys are doing, I bet we're going to pull a magician card. Like we, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that magician card is going to pop up, pop up in this reading because I see that something that you guys are doing is really attracting this person into your life. Look, look what it says, very soon. This person is going to appear in your life very soon. I also have a card for you guys. Let your friends help you. So with this card, I'm feeling like <sighs> this might be a place or situation or event uh, through which you are going to meet your soulmate or like your next romantic partner. I said soulmate, but uh, next romantic partner, uh, probably through your friends. That could be where you guys could meet or through your friends you could meet this person because it says ask for and accept support from others. So someone is trying to help you with something. Maybe one of your friends is trying to make you go out with them or um, it doesn't have to be like literally trying to push you to find someone but they might be just offering you to go with them somewhere or to do something with them like you know you might have a friend that is asking you to go with them to the gym and you're like eh, no nah. and I feel like once you guys are going to do that that's kind of how you're going to meet this person but I don't want you to right now sit and be thinking like oh my god what am I saying no to that I should be saying yes to because that's not about it I feel like it's just going to come but just a message from the spirit saying that I feel like you guys are going to meet this person through your friends um, and that you're doing a really good job attracting this person so whatever you've been maybe practicing lately doing affirming keep on doing it because it's great you guys are doing a really good job if you guys are not particularly like trying to manifest you know this person this also could be saying that because you're not so focused on love it's going to be automatically magnetized to you it's going to be coming into your life very easily and effortlessly because you're not that focused on it maybe you're focused on self-development and self-love the more energy that you put into yourself and into loving yourself and becoming the best version of yourself and the more people are actually attracted to you to your aura so keep on working on yourself group number three I love that. 
Let's see what else we have from tarot cards. I think you guys are going to let go of something that is not resonating with you anymore, with lifestyle, with routine, with someone from your life, with some career or whatever it is because it's going to be different for everyone here but i do think that something where you guys felt like you're walking in circles that you always do the same thing and you always end up with the same problem or with the same issue with the same person with the same kind of person you know or with the same thing situation i think you guys are going to decide right now to do something different you're either lately thinking about doing it or it will happen soon that you are going to make a different decision and start questioning your future and questioning like everything in your life. A lot of areas of your life that you're maybe not happy with or you wish there would be more of it or they would be better. I feel like once you guys are going to start doing that, um, that is going to be the path that uh, you will take. You will get outside of your comfort zone and once you do, I think that's how or where or when you guys are going to meet this person because the Knight of Cups popped out, so that's like dating. Dating and seeing someone, flirting with someone, and it came right after the Two of Wands, which uh, to me would be, let me show you the card. Which to me talks about this energy of like, <laughs> I always call it the same, you guys know, those of you who have been here for a while, I always say, should I stay or should I go? <laughs> That's the easiest way to remember this card because it's comfortable where you are right now but you also are curious about what's out there for you and I feel like you guys are going to be questioning that soon and I think that's going to be the catalyst of you meeting this person. That's what is going to align you guys to to meet, to be together, to get to know each other because we also have the King of Pentacles and the Two of Cups, which are two beautiful cards, because the King of Pentacles, that's about stability, commitment in a relationship, someone that is that wants this commitment. And we also have the Two of Cups, which is a card of uh, a soulmate, of a romantic uh, partner, of having um, a very deep bond with someone. I pulled for you guys, uh, I already miss you, which makes me think that you guys might be long distance uh, for a while with this person. Is this ever going to focus? Maybe it did, I don't know. You might be in a long distance relationship for a while with this person. We also have ambitious, so it's just describing your person. Someone ambitious, someone determined. Let's learn a little bit more about this person because I do want to know more. This person might be quite introverted. Maybe you are too. Let me know. Chill. Someone that doesn't like drama. Okay, so I pulled for you a Capricorn. Cancer or Taurus and because I did it for every other pile I don't want you I, I don't want to leave you hanging <laughs> number three it's not something that I was planning to do but let's see what we will get okay guys so I will enter up here the picture of what I'm seeing so we have a uh, square body shape we have birthmark we also have letters W, I, I again, K and Y. We have crazy. I heard like crazy like you. So maybe you consider yourself being quite crazy. This person is crazy too. Okay, so we also have like, which um, <laughs> makes me think like this person is going to be uh, liking all your posts, etc. At the beginning of your relationship when you guys are going to be flirting you know it also makes me think of the word alike so it makes me think it makes me feel like you guys are going to uh, have some similarities between you two so maybe both of you have like blue eyes or brown eyes um, maybe the same hair color or it could be just character and your personality that might be quite uh, similar Okay, that's all that I have for you, group number three. If you want to find out more about this next romantic partner of yours, I will link uh, one of my previous readings up here. You can learn more about this person there. But before you go, okay, before you go, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I know a lot of you are watching my channel, but are not subscribing. It's a free way of supporting my channel. Also, you can book a personal reading with me. I have tiers for like your future spouse, soulmate, next romantic partner. Or if you have any kind of question, you can just ask me that question question in the private reading and maybe comment down below let me know what are your plans for valentine's and maybe how you're feeling about this reading 
I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye.